when this engine does give up, whenever that would be, you can go buy a $300 125 YX125 and put it in here. Probably what I, I was debating on the 190, uh, Zongshin, the ZS19, uh, yeah, 190. But the starter chain problems uh, kind of turned me off on that thing. And the uh, kickstart shaft, apparently something in there is weak too. If you don't kickstart it just right, you cause some damage. So it's kind of got me shied away from that. That one I could get for about a little over $700 for that 190. And it would at least double the power of a stock spade engine. And it's a five speed. Or you can go with a Daytona 194 valve. But the ones, at least at T Bolt, they're about 1500 bucks. So it's kind of hard for me to justify putting a $1,500 engine in a bike that, when it was brand new, wouldn't but two grand. I didn't buy it brand new, but just saying. Uh, I would actually have more in the engine. Than I have in this whole thing if I bought that Daytona. So, long story short, I'll probably I'm thinking about the Piranha uh, 140 engine put in here. It's about 450 bucks from T-Bolt, and I think it's about the same as a YX 140. Because uh, I don't really, uh, I don't really want to be running 80 on this thing. Uh, if you 60 65 if you can hold 60 you're golden in my opinion on this uh i don't really i mean if if it would run 80 i would run it up to 80 every now and again but it's not something i would uh recommend or be wanting to do every time i got on it really with this engine uh i'm happy with it uh if you're facing a strong headwind, it does slow you down a good bit, even worse than a hill. Uh, so, you know, you put a 12 to 14 horse engine in this thing, and that's all you need in my opinion.